Yo, this is Sauce Kid Official Tory Lanez, and right now you watching Hot New Hip Hop. You dig. Basically, for the second album, like, w like now that we've you've done, I told you, like, what is gonna, what's next? Like, you, like, you basically told your entire story. Like, I told you was your come up, was your entire struggle until like you signed. Like, that was the storyline. So, like, what's the next narrative? Like, <laughs> is there, is it gonna be as like, um, I guess as concise of a theme, or is it gonna be like more? Um, no, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be as much to take in as the uh as the first one I, I don't think that I don't think that it's 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 not it wasn't uh catered to me like that in my head the way that I did this one is it still has certain pieces and elements that you know if you're a listener to my old stuff then you'll understand where it comes from but it's music like it's it's a lot of music, you know what I mean? It's more, it's less story, but it's more like, you see uh, Conflicts of My Soul, I don't know if you remember, but how everything transitioned musically, that's how this is. It's 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 incredible. It's just something you got to listen to. It Like, at the end of the day, that's like when I was trying to explain, I told you at the start, and, and it was like, okay, like, I, I get what you're saying, but it's not really, I can't explain it. Like, you have to just listen to it. Like, everything is just said. You know what I mean? But it's said through the music. So, I mean, okay, so, like, you also, you already mentioned, like, on Twitter that there's not going to be samples. You mentioned that there's going to be features. So, like, you're already, like, that's already a completely different direction than your first and that, like, there were samples and there were no features. Like, um, and the first one I felt, I don't know if you did it intentionally, but it, it felt, it ended up being, or it ended up feeling more R&B than rap just because of, like, ha, like. It was a lot of singing. That's just how, what the overall vibe felt like in the end, and, like, it was great. I'm just wondering if the. It was cool, but my my problem, I wouldn't even say my problem with it because I love that album. And I, I I still will always call it a classic because of what it is and, and you know, the body of work that it is, but. My thing with I told you when I listened back to it, it was nothing to really dance to. It was nothing to, and when I say dance, I don't mean necessarily get up and pop lock. I mean there was nothing to really dance to as far hmm. as like it was nothing that really made you that. like yeah. want to like you know what I mean like I'll play this it at just, a it just party. I'll like play this at album. it was only the sing it was only the, the you know the two singles that had came out yeah true you know what I mean and that and was my that was my thing I think I I kind of went at that with like a really. I, I don't know, like an industry kind of approach to it because it was my first album. Um, but also, I'm still satisfied. It wasn't like I came with an approach that didn't give me the result I wanted. That's the exact result that I wanted. But now, for the second album, I'm glad that I did that because there's so much more different things that I can do this time. Yeah. Well, like, you mentioned a song that, like, has no hook. So is that, like, there's going to be more, like, just rapping Tory, like, straight bars? Or, there's like, is a that... Lot, there's, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of... Um, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of of bars on this for sure, but it's not like you know how sometimes like you hear you about to hear a tape and you think it's full of rap. It's not full of rap. It's it's full of great music. Like you know what I mean. But it's definitely it's definitely not. I told you. It's like, you know what I mean? What about the skits? I mean, that was something you mentioned at the beginning of our interview. Just like, I feel like if there was a criticism, it was about the skits. Personally, like, I didn't mind them. Like you said, like you put them, you placed no, them I so think, that you can whatever. I think it was just the fact of how, um, I guess, on the sound thing, how Apple and Spotify kind of has to split it as a separate track. So it makes the tape way longer than it is. And it's like when you listen to the CD everything just flows and if you don't want to listen to the skits all you do is pr hit next you know what i mean but with apple it made you have to go through track to track to track to track to track to track but is that you know? something like we'll hear skits again or what do you, how do you i mean you you'll always hear a little you'll always hear you'll always hear pieces of cinematic um elements to anything that i do if it's music if it's videos if it's anything i've ever done my whole approach to it is cinematic so there's always some something it may not just be a od amount i'm not narrating and you know what i mean like that was a lot of things people got us that was narrating and putting skits and it was a big piece of work that it was for you to listen to and you to take in on your own time 
and you to love it and listen to it and you know and cherish for for what it is you know what i mean and this album will be something different for you to love in a different way and for you to cherish what it is in a different way